Welcome to Take Me to the River's YouTube channel. Come often, subscribe, tell your friends and family. We continue to bring you the very best music from New Orleans, Memphis, and all over the world. I'm Martin Shore, producer, director of Take Me to the River, and I am so happy to announce Take Me to the River Nola's next single comes out March 11th. It's entitled New Orleans Girl with PJ Morton, Cheeky Black, and the Rebirth Brass Band. Coming up next, get to know the Rebirth Brass Band with a visit to the studio session and some behind the scenes footage of the making of this amazing track. Yeah, you're gonna be in the, I think you're gonna be on the like this side. You know what I mean? I think that's the vibe. Go on, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I started playing with a full degree trombone. I just started playing snare drum first, and I switched from snare drum to baritone horn, like marching baritone horn in the seventh grade, and I played that up through college. And um, while I was in college, I was always coming back home playing bass drum. So I was actually a horn player who was drafted to play a bass drum. <laughs> We've been playing on three or three years. Glenn's got a band about six months ago, six something months like that. Six months ago, right. And Chad been in the band like two or three years. Right. Fun time we put their dad to say that's something. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is there one specific place that you try and look for your talent? It's happened natural. Some some guys we've been playing music, like the young guys in the band, they hang around man long enough. They hear enough music that we play. They say, Phil, can you join the band? I said, what does somebody get fire and drop out? That's how it worked. Them four parades killed me. Yeah, them four parades killed me. Well, they call the city the Big Easy for a reason. No one's in a rush to go anywhere or do anything. <laughs> and so, you know, communities last forever. You can leave this place, come back 20 years, you're like, wow, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Nothing has really changed. The buildings, the people, the culture, the food. You're like, Katrina couldn't even, if, if a hurricane is massive as Katrina couldn't wipe it away, or yellow fever or something like that, I don't think anything can. Think of the happiest moment of your life. That's New Orleans. Every day. So right there, so so it's fun. So it's that whole step. Yeah. We were mentored by older musicians because we were allowed to go out and watch them play like the Dirty Dozen Brass Band. They used to have a standing Thursday night gig. And we were young, but they would let us come in and listen to them play. They, we would listen to the Trey May Brass Band play. You know, they, they would embrace us like, man, you guys should come check out what we're doing. They, they would never say, don't come here or don't listen. And now we feel like, as the older musicians now, we have to do the same thing. So when younger guys come around, we try to tell them, hey man, get your horn out, come on stage, sit in for a little bit and learn a couple of tunes or learn how to be a professional in the, in the profession. So we try to mentor that way. It's designed to take all the pain and the stress away. You know, you wanna you wanna have a good time. You wanna forget about everything that life is throwing you at the point in time. You, you come to the Rebirth Brass Band show and you just forget about everything and just be yourself for a moment. You know what I'm saying? You can be anybody, anyone you wanna be at a Rebirth show. New Orleans itself, it plays a big part in my life because it's so influ inf inf uh, influential with the music side because of a lot of great trumpet players like, you know, Louis Armstrong and, and uh, Dave Bartholomew and, and all these guys from New Orleans from Oak way back. They paved the way for guys like me to uh, have a career in music, in New Orleans music, that is, you know. And, and recently, after we won our Grammy, we see things changing for the brass band culture itself. You know, a lot of people are starting to catch on and, and come out to shows and support the band, and that's big for the city of New Orleans. That let us know that our culture's being heard, the people of, 
are interested in uh, interested in our music now. You know what I'm saying? Because for for a long time we thought it was only in the streets of New Orleans you can get it, but now you can catch it all over the world. I look up to these guys, like in, in uh, Kermit Ruffins played a big influence, you know, like Terrence Blanchard, Wynn Marcellus, of course, you know, Nicholas Payton, all those good guys from New Orleans. We uh, we all we all took a liking to jazz really young, you know, me, Trumbo Shorty, Glenn Hall, a lot of us young cats that's kind of keeping the culture going right now in New Orleans. Um, we took a, young, uh, a liking to it at a young age and, and just, set up under our old cats and, and learned everything we can and then we furred our education at uh, NOCA, Institute of, uh, Institute of Music in New Orleans for uh, high school kids. And um, from there, man, we just been trying to take it to the next level. I started out like around three or four playing the drums. I, I wanted to switch over because I seen the sousaphone and I really wanted to play the big horn when I was about seven to eight years old. And a guy named Anthony Tuba Fat Lason uh, made me carry a tuba to my grandmother's house. I easily changed my mind about that. We're not scared to express ourselves through music. You know, a lot of people are, are, are tend to really hide how they feel behind the music and, and talk about it. We, we express it right on our instrument. If, we, if you're having a bad day, you're going to pretty much know it off our instrument. On a good day, we having a, you're going to hear it on our instrument. And it, and it not that it's good or bad, but it's just the, the soulfulness that you're going to feel from that time that just is, you know, Amazing that we can do that down here, with no problem. It's been proven the last two days I've been in the studio and we've taken all gen genres of mu music and squashed them together. And, and it sounds great. You, 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 New Orleans music is just whatever you put together. You can get 10 folks with some instruments and come up with a whole different sound. You can't get that everywhere, man. It's just different. Our vibe down here, we, we drink different water. <laughs> I want to come out the out the Gulf and out the out the Mississippi. <laughs> we 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 just funky down here, you know. We we like to have fun with the music and try different things. We're not scared to express ourselves through music. I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes look at the making of this incredible track, New Orleans Girl, from the latest single being released from Take Me to the River's brand new record. It releases on March 11th. Can't wait to see you next week. Until then, be safe and stand in unison with our Ukrainian brothers. Put them all over the world. Uh, you better watch out if you see a New Orleans girl. Yeah, I said you better watch out. Katrina put them all over the world. You better watch out if you see a 